Well, it's likely the legislature will have a say in whatever happens next in the governor's college merger plan. State Senator Sandra Cunningham is the chair of the Higher Education Committee. She joins me now to talk more about this controversial plan. Senator, thanks for Hi. joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Well, the Rutgers Board of Trustees uh, has rejected the college merger plan. Mm -hmm. uh, what's next? Is it dead? I don't think it's dead. I think it will probably be more negotiations. Uh, this is something that the governor really wants. Uh, this is something that, um, for the most part, um, the southern part of the state want. Hmm. So it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here, but I don't think it's dead. Well, there are certainly vocal opponents, and um, Democrats in particular are raising concerns about cost. Do you share this concern? Well, you know, that is the major uh, question. Uh, anything that is this large and will influence and impact this much of um, what goes on in the state in terms of education is going to have a high price tag. The key is going to be how much that price tag is and can we pay it. So does it make sense to merge if it's going to be costly, it seems like? Well, there's going to be a cost, but we don't know what the cost is. So it's a little difficult to really judge. I don't know if it will eventually become a merger or some sort of partnership, but um, we will certainly have to know what the numbers are, and we don't have that information. Hmm. Um, is there a compromise? I guess the compromise would be perhaps some sort of partnership between uh, Rutgers and Rowan and Rutgers and everybody else, but um, I haven't heard very much about that yet. Is there a way for uh, the folks who do not want to lose Rutgers Camden, is there a way for that entity to have its own board to keep its own entity and identity? I would think that anything's possible. It's just a matter of what the negotiations will be. Is July 1st feasible? Absolutely not. <laughs> I shouldn't say absolutely not. Certainly I cannot understand because we're talking about uh, colleges that have been in existence. They have accumulated certain kinds of debt. They have various licenses and certifications that are different from the other. And it takes a while to get through all of that. So I think that perhaps July 1st is a date that was given to get the ball rolling and to make sure that people are moving in that direction. I cannot imagine anyone really believes that July 1st will be the magic moment for this to occur. Um, OLS has said, though, the governor can't do this alone. So will it come down to the legislature? I'm pretty sure it will have to come through the legislature. And that's a good thing. Is there support in the legislature? I think the legislature um, is supportive of the fact that New Jersey's higher education community um, needs to be expanded, that there's a, um, and there's a big emphasis on higher education in the state now. I think that everyone realizes that things change, and sometimes they change for the best, and sometimes they don't. So I think people are willing to listen. I don't think that anyone's going to say, absolutely not, not without hearing all of the facts and hearing what the dollars will be and how it will really impact on the communities that are involved, both in the southern part of the state and in Newark. Would you vote in favor of it? I don't know. It would be very difficult to sit here and to say, yes, I would vote in favor of it because um, we're living in very difficult financial times and it would depend upon what the impact will be financially. And certainly the concern for folks who live in Newark and Camden is how it would impact them, yes? Exactly. I think that most of the people in Camden are looking forward to it and would like it. I think it would help, perhaps they believe it will help, to build Camden and help the turnaround in Camden. Um, I don't know what the people in Newark are saying. We did have a public hearing in Newark and a lot of people were concerned about what is going to happen to the hospital that will be left there. Um, that hospital is very, very important to the residents of Newark. Um, okay, well, I have one more question for you before we wrap up. Any ideas do you plan to run for the mayor's seat in Jersey City? Oh my God. <laughs> I am thinking about it. Thinking about I have it. not okay. made a decision. All right, well, keep us posted. You'll have to announce it here. I will. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.